Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here and another fantastic psychic training tool. This is another classic tool from 1967, the golden age of psychic training and tools. Seems like so many of these psychic tools were made in the middle to late 60s. Now, pinpoint here uh, by Parker Brothers. Will your ESP let you locate unseen objects? It's fun to try. One uh, to four players. This is what comes in the box. You get the box, three different shapes, and a bunch of pins. You can play by yourself or with others. Let me turn this over here to see uh, the exact back of the box for all of you aficionados. You can see these things. If that interests you. And of course, the usual stuff on the sides here. Nothing overly new. And of course, it's a very simple game, but this is a fantastic psychic training tool. Of course, I find the use of the voodoo uh, system to pop out the uh, manifestation of yours using pins is a lot more fun, but this is very interesting and it's super simple to use on your own or with others. Now, you take the shapes here, you get three different shapes and you get a whole bunch of pins. Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, you put all the um, shapes inside there. And of course, you can't really see in there too easy. And you don't want to see, you don't want to fake it to find a, uh, you know, cheat on yourself, obviously. So you get this and you put the shapes in there. Now you can put all three shapes in there. Um, you can just put one shape and, we'll, and you'll see here that there's three shapes. You've got this triangle type, a round circle, and a triangle. And these are just... I don't know if they're plastic or wood, but they're just black little shapes. And depending on how difficult you want to make it, now with everything we always say start off easy. So what you want to do to start off easy here is you just put all three in there and you can play against other people. Uh, there are different colored pins here. And all you can say is that um, you look at this and you say, well, I want to find one of the pieces. So you just kind of concentrate on it. Well. I feel there's one under here. And of course there is one, but it's pretty easy to do that. I mean, look at the amount of space uh, that is there. And um, you can start off that way. When you start off all that way, then you say, okay, let's take a piece out. Put it back on there. So now you only have two pieces in there. And if you think you know where it is, shuffle it about. Make sure you don't know where approximately is. And it says, well, I want to find another piece. Now, you can make it more difficult because there's three different pieces that are different shapes. You could say, well, I want to put all three in there and then say, well, I want to find. But right now, we're just trying to see. And I feel, well, I feel there's one underneath here. Oops. Nope. And you continue that. Now, the whole idea is not to guess. I'm not feeling here right now. No. The whole idea is to feel where the energy is. Let me do this. You always use the left hand. You're sensing, oh, I'm feeling something right under here. There we go. So I was able to locate one of those two figures right under there because, again, I sensed it through my power hand. And you can continue to go, well, where is the other piece? feeling something over here. Nope. And that's how you use it. Now you can do this with other people. And again, it's not a guessing game. When you get into the guessing game, um, it's a little bit ridiculous. Uh, then it just becomes guess here, guess there. So you want to take it seriously. Sense where the pieces are. And there are many ways of setting this up to be easy and difficult. Now, um, And you can put other objects in here. If you want to put smaller objects, like here's a here's a rune crystal. 
And this is a way to sense a different stone and so forth. So being a rune crystal, you want to find the actual crystal. Spin it around a little bit. And then you want to say, well, where's the crystal in here? And it's really unlimited. Any objects that you have or you can put under there. And one of the ways to train yourself is to put different things underneath here. Crystals, metals, you can, and so forth. Anything that will stick up enough. So you gotta make sure that the height of it is correct as well. So, uh, because if it's too, if it's something very flat, the pin is just gonna go through. So you gotta make sure that it is high enough so you can come in contact with it. So it's a very simple design. We're gonna be coming out with our own similar design to this, but much more complicated. Uh, we do have uh, advanced kits using remote viewing. Uh, and sensing uh, different precious metals, etc. Find the Dragon is a variation of this where we use the actual um, form here, but add other things to it and give you lots of additional training. Um, but as a general tool here, you can't beat this. You need to have tools like this. So you get these three shapes, you get a whole bunch of pins, uh, you, as I said, you can do this with someone else. It's always fun to work with others and say, okay, you sense where it is. And again, don't make things hard initially. Make sure you do things easy and make sure you end on a win. There's nothing more depressing than ending um, with an actual loss or, oh, this is too hard. Nobody wants that. You want to be very successful. And if you have kind of even a ridiculous... Um, um, actual finding of something because there's so many in there. Well, that's okay. And of course, as I said, you can get very specific with what's in there. You can put a lot of objects in there, uh, but you want to find the one you want. So you can put all three of these shapes in there. Um, but then when you hunt for them, you say, well, I want to find the triangle. Rectangle. Uh, I want to find the rectangle, you want to find a triangle or a circle, and then you hunt for that. So there's a lot of variance. This is really limited to your own uh, mind. Um, we, as I said, supply metals, coppers, magnets, other things in our um, actual uh, remote view the dragon kit, a really fantastic and fun tool based on this. Uh, this is just a simple, simplistic one. And as I said, oftentimes uh, we have these uh, for sale. Um, where you can actually get this original kit in the original box and enjoy yourself. A very simplistic, um, but again, these things are not cheap. It's like everything else in life. They are very hard to find, and um, if you do find them, you're usually going to cost uh, quite a bit. So you get this little plastic tray and this big top that goes over it, made pretty well. Uh, you get the three shapes. This is what comes with everything. And of course, I don't know how many of these get. I'm only showing you a few of the pins here, but they do come in uh, one, two, three, four colors, meaning four different people could play if you want to. And um, there are conventional kind of boring ways uh, that are included with this as well um, of how you can actually use this kit um, other than what I just told you. But that's the basic way to do it, to make it fun, interesting, and this is a real ESP training tool. As with all these things, generally, these were um, uh, actual tools that were designed by parapsychologists, by professionals, particularly in the 60s, um, that uh, came uh, that the toy companies went to and say, hey, we want to make something like this. People love ESP and this is all the rage. What can we do? And they put together simple little things like this uh, that um, uh, but were based on sound scientific principles. Uh, you can get these now. It's very exciting to actually uh, see these kinds of things uh, now in uh modern times that are out there and the different variances that we are producing so this is really fun another highly recommended tool what's nice about this over the voodoo one is that you can put all sorts of shapes inside textures energies etc so it can actually train you to sense metals sense 
uh, magnetism, sense anything you want to sense, stones, uh, types of stones. So it can go on and on of anything you want to start sensitizing yourself to, to kind of tune into, um, you would put inside this particular box and then you would try and sense where it is. That means you have to tune into it. So it's not just tuning into the space, but you can also tune into the object and it's really unlimited. But this is a fantastic tool. Um, one of the most highly recommended. We, well, all of them are good. Mind Over Matter, the Voodoo Doll, Pinpoint. These are your classic tools that are just plain fun. Use these on your own, which is always a lot of people are stuck doing, but they're also a lot of fun if you want to play with others or even at a party. Do you have psychic powers? Well, let's see. And people love to do that, just like people love to have their fortune read, tarot cards, anything that does. Everybody loves it, even if they don't necessarily give it a lot of credit. Um, they give it more credit than you think, and they're always fun, participatory games uh, that everyone enjoys. So, remember... Check the link down below so that uh, if you are interested in this, we probably have one of these available or a variant. Make sure to like this video and, of course, subscribe. We need your support to keep these coming and for us to continue to develop all those really cool IGOS tools, machines, training, etc. So we have it all. If you're not using Occult Gym Tools, you are not going to grow in empowerment. Here's a tool, but you need more than that. You have to be centered and you have to then, once you have built up and used tools, you have to find the right techniques. We have a master of psychic techniques, Kenyatta Long, who has written many books, empowered books, uh, that will empower you by just putting your photograph in it. Um, with loaded with techniques, but you need to center yourself. You need to pump a cult iron by using this. Then you use techniques. So until next time, lots more coming.